Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a different video than I've done in the past. Today's just going to be more sit down personal video on life and I really am directing it towards um, something that is going to change your life drastically if you take this advice and use it in your life. So let's just hop right on in. There's two different types of people. You know, there's people who have been encouraged their whole life that they're loved, that they're wanted, that they're awesome, that they're going to make it in the world. And then there's another type of person they have been put down their whole life by the people around them, that they're not good enough, they're not going to make it, that they're going to fail and they're not loved. Even though both people are so different in like their surroundings and their environment, they both have the same habits. They both don't believe in themselves. They both don't unconditionally truly love themselves. So that's what we're going to be talking about today is how to unconditionally love yourself. Just a simple, simple trick that will change your life and the benefits that it will have in your life. So the one thing that I found that, you know, really did a 180 for me and that is, I believe, going to help you guys is just, it's so simple. It is so simple. There are two different types of headphones that you can listen to. The first one is society and the negativity and the, the negative words that are putting you down as a person. And then there's another type of headphones of the truth of what, you know, God says about you, of what, you know, words of encouragement, encouraging things that you can see about yourself. Well, you see, if you listen to the headphones of society saying you're not good enough, you're not going to make it, you're not loved, you're not beautiful, you don't fit in, you're, you don't have a purpose. If you listen to those words, then that's how you're going to live your life because that's how you're going to see yourself and how you see yourself is how other people see you. So if you see yourself as not loved, not wanted, not good enough, that's how others are going to see you and your whole life is just going to be a wreck. Or you can listen to the headphones of truth and encouraging words and you're good enough, you're going to make it, keep pushing, don't quit, you're beautiful, you're wonderful, you're awesome, you're terrific, you're amazing. And if you listen to those words long enough and put that headphone on and listen to those good words, you're going to start believing that and seeing yourself as that and other people will see you that way as well. Because how you see yourself is how other people see you. So if you see yourself, I have a purpose, I'm beautiful, I'm loved, I am all these things, then that's how others will see you and that's how others will also treat you and that's how you're going to treat yourself, which will end up and you will love yourself unconditionally because you only see good in yourself. And by doing this, you will be able to love the people around you. Um, if you're having troubles with not unconditionally loving the people around you or you get angry at them a lot or all whatever, it's because you don't unconditionally love yourself. You can't love others if you don't love yourself. So if you don't unconditionally love yourself, you can't love your parents, you can't love your siblings, you can't love, you know, if you're married, you can't love your spouse unconditionally if you don't unconditionally love yourself. And the Bible says to love your neighbor as yourself and you can't do that if you hate yourself. If you don't like yourself, if you put yourself down all the time, because how you treat yourself is how you're going to treat the other people around you. You have to love yourself to love others. And by it's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. And you have to learn that whole process of loving yourself unconditionally. But it's so important because if you do that, you're going to treat the people around you differently and they'll treat you differently. And you're going to treat yourself differently. You're not going to put you're you're not going to put yourself down. And also something that is super important is that people who don't love themselves speak negatively over you. And then you speak that negative over someone else. And it's a chain reaction of you passing that on, people putting stuff onto you, and you're passing it on. And that negativity and that those awful words are passing all around us because we're passing them on to other people, people are putting them on us. And it just creates this awful environment. So if we can learn to love ourselves unconditionally and by listening to encouraging things, by blocking out the negativity society. I mean, if you have to delete Instagram, then delete Instagram. If you have to, you know, whatever you have to do, cut off ties of people who are putting negative things in your life, then that's what you have to do. But you have to live your life 
to the fullest and you have to live your life loving yourself so you can love others because you only get so many days and so many years on this earth and you have to enjoy it. And God did design us to love ourselves. He did design us to be beautiful, to be confident, but we don't do that because of the words that society and other people have been put on us that we believe it and then we perceive ourselves that way. So a few simple tips to try to break that chain of not loving yourself is I really do believe that having a relationship with God and with Jesus Christ really does help because you can talk to him about everything that's happening in your life and you can read the Bible and it will give you encouraging things and how you should really truly see yourself because God designed you a specific way and he designed you to look a specific way and be a, and act a specific way. He made your personality how he wanted you to be. And reading that and truly believing that and following my life by that has really changed my life and I know it can change yours too. Surround yourself with good people or maybe be open to having a relationship with God. It's something that's really amazing and something that can't even be explained into words that you have to experience for yourself, the love of Jesus. And it will help you love yourself. The benefits are so big. You'll have better relationships. You'll love yourself and be confident and your life will totally change. So I challenge each and every one of us to do that, to love ourselves unconditionally, to look in the mirror and not point out all of our flaws and not point out all of our mistakes and all of our past failures. And to also get rid of that, you also have to forgive yourself from your past and forgive the people of your past to move on to truly love yourself. So I do challenge us though to do that, to forgive ourselves from our past and for the people in our past and the negativity of our past or of our present and get rid of it and cut ties and get rid of things that are putting negative thoughts into our heads and surround us with encouragement, with, you know, worship music, with, you know, motivational videos, with the Bible, with, you know, motivational books or people in your life that you know encourage you. Put yourself around them more often and uh, I really do think that if we all learn to unconditionally love ourselves this whole world would be totally different you know and by us doing it for ourselves and passing you know the unconditional love onto other people you know by giving them encouraging words by giving them motivation and by you know giving them you know a purpose to love themselves it could really start a chain reaction. It could really start a change where you live and eventually the world of how people see themselves and how people perceive themselves and just simply love themselves. So that was a different video than I would normally do, but I really do think that if we followed these steps and put the headphones of positivity and encouragement and of truth on, and we listen to those 24-7 instead of listening to the other negativity, negative mindset headphones, you know, we could really learn to love ourselves. And that's so, so important to love ourselves so we can unconditionally love the people around us because they were put in our lives for a reason and we need to accept the people around us and love them because they're going through the exact same things you're going through. They're going through struggles. They don't love themselves unconditionally either. So we need to love ourselves so the people around us can learn to love themselves and it's so so important so I hope you guys enjoy this video I hope that you take these simple tips that I've learned and pass them on to other people and you know believe them or use these tips to love yourself unconditionally I hope you guys enjoy this video comment down below what else you would like to see on my channel any other motivational videos or singing videos or what would you like to see on my channel and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Love you.